Hi, here's a question. Where do you go to meet with God? Where do you feel most connected to him? I don't mean the big crowds at the Christian festival with thousands of people worshipping around you in one voice. Of course, that's absolutely amazing. It's really exhilarating. But I mean just you and your dad. Dwelling a bit longer, going a bit slower, listening more attentively. Your heart's really connecting. Maybe it's sitting at home with a cup of tea reading the Bible or being quiet at the back of a church and just listening. Or if you're like me and many other people, it's being out in creation in the natural world, walking by a river or you know, wandering along a beach, climbing a mountain, digging in the veg patch, listening to birdsong in the garden. Just you and God. The invisible God seen through what's been made visible. The beauty of creation, incredible universe all around us, understanding the delicately balanced ecosystems or looking up at the huge expanse of sky above you and feeling very small and yet known and loved. It was the same for Jesus too. His pattern of prayer seems to be quite simple. Of course, he connected with God all day, all night, and yet he still needed to get up early in the morning, be out in the natural world, and pray, just him and his dad. It was like an umbilical connection. That's where he got his nourishment from. That's where he got his strength from. And it's no different for us. It must have been amazing for him to feel the dust and dirt between his thumb and forefinger. It was his dirt, he made it. He was there right at the start when the Holy Spirit hovered above the waters of creation. It's his words that spoke the universe into being. And then just 2000 years ago, he could feel the dirt in his hands. It's his dirt. He made it. We might need to get rid of the image in our minds of a cartoon Jesus. Maybe the line drawing image of Jesus wearing a tunic in a good news Bible, sitting neatly on a rock saying his prayers. And instead imagine a Middle Eastern man, uh, his tears darkening the soil as he wept over Jerusalem. Jesus was really intimately connected to his natural world. It was part of him and it's part of us too. It's not separate. Now during this environmental crisis, our world needs to hear a bigger, more beautiful and hope-filled story because they're lacking a story. It's part of the heart of why the environmental crisis has happened. You see, often in the media, when we hear about the crisis, it's viewed through a political lens or an economic lens, or a scientific lens, but never or rarely through a relational lens. And it's our relationship with our Father that makes most sense of why the creation's been ruptured and what we can do about it. So it's a really big challenge for us as Christians, particularly because it's quite rare for Christians to associate the environmental crisis with their faith. I heard it said recently that many Christians think environmentally, not because they're a Christian, but just because it's the right thing to do. And that's really sad. It kind of takes the engine out of the whole thing. Same for our churches too, because we think so individualistically about these things. Our churches treat environmental issues as quite peripheral. So even in Whitefriars and the Well, we have countryside walks and a little garden attached to the bridge. And that's about it. We rarely put caring for creation at the absolute core of not just what we do but who we are as the church. It's really sad, particularly because we know that's how many people connect with God. That's the way our faith is deepened. But also many people that aren't Christians are searching for God through nature and yet we've not made those connections as a church. So this week my challenge to you is to think a little bit more deeply about how your faith can help you to connect with creation and vice versa. So maybe it's going out for a walk or learning the names of the butterflies and birds in your garden. Maybe it's something really simple like every single time you go to the recycling uh, bin, every single time you put something inside, you say to Jesus, OK, I care. That rhythm of caring for creation should be part of our everyday lives and at the core of our churches. It's time for our churches to wake up out of their slumber and to think about God's creation in a new way. Amen.